don't lie to me. Get out of here! Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to tell you about this. What's up, gang? Welcome back to another episode on the Weston Smith channel. Today we are rocking the house with my boy Bill Matthews. Go ahead and check him out. It's Bass and Bill 96 on YouTube and Instagram. The dude is more than doubling my subscriber count. Definitely privileged to get a chance to fish with him today, and we're actually hitting a juicy little zone that you've seen in a previous video. I've hit the spot one time with John B in the past. It's a new day. Anything could happen. I think the biggest fish we pulled out last time was three and a half to four pounds and uh, we are ready to do the same if not go bigger today. So stick with us on this one you guys. It's going to be a fun, jam-packed, filled episode. Hopefully we get on some hogs. Let's go ahead and switch over to the GoPro. Okay. Yep. Okay, I'm satisfied. <laughs> Had to hit that drain real quick you guys. First thing walking up to this pond. Have you fished with one of these? Like this is from Carl's dude. Look at this. The Jackal Gantrell. Hold on. Wait for it. Look at that. Look. Ready? So crazy. The thing is this will get like, I'll get hits by twos and under on this thing. Whew. Looks deadly though. I think the bottom transitions a little on this side. Maybe walk the jig over here. It looks so good on that side. There's like a pipe in the middle, oh, like possibly some structure. So we might get daring and cast into that. Somebody somewhere wants to eat a dragon drop. Say you want someone. Do, 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 do. All right, y'all, I see this pipe out here. This is a good way to lose your dragon drop and also a good way to catch a fish. You got to risk it if you want the biscuit. And we are all about it. Bill and I have been fishing all day in the previous video, which you probably saw and hopefully we're not disappointed by. I tried to make it as juicy for you guys with some awesome B-roll, some unique locations, and some tips here and there as possible, but we did not catch any fish. So we we're hoping to get redemption here and these little small city ponds. And uh, I feel like this is a good place to do it. Yo, don't even lie to me. Don't lie to me. Dragon drop pulling through baby on the slowest day you've ever seen. And it's a decent one. It's a decent one. Oh my gosh. It's a three pounder! Get out of here! Yes! Biggest dragon drop fish I've ever caught. Oh man. You gotta cast into that drain, boy. Fido knows, he's telling you. Woo! First fish of the day, dragon drop. I got the rods and the gear. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to tell you about this. Fishing all day. And then to land one in the first like 15 minutes at this pond? Get out of here! I'm about to need to take this hoodie off. Slightly excited. As you know, because I just told you we've been fishing all day, and look at what we get on the drag and drop very quickly out here, you guys. This has us stoked beyond belief. I wish he would have caught it. Oh, okay, you're this okay. This won't be the only one. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> We're here to catch a lot, so we're about to get Bill his first one, but the yeah. drag and drop pulled through. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you. Watermelon red flake, we just used a quarter ounce weight so we could really get it out there with the casting gear. A lot of times you'll see people throwing that on a spinning setup. Just no rules out here, no limits. Looks like his top fin is... What's going on here? Oh, he's got it. It's just stealth mode. They're super pumped on this first catch of the day. Go ahead and sign up for Shop Carl's. Save yourself 30% on your baits like we do, and don't ever pay a full price to catch your fish again. Let's get him back in the water. <laughs> Go ahead, killer. We do appreciate you. Water is freezing cold. It is. It's cold. Wow. Dude. Thank you for holding That's on to that thing chilly. while I grab the camera. Oh my gosh. All right, y'all. No time to dilly dally. We got to get back into it. This is just so much fun. All right, guys. We got to re up that bass in my excitement. Maybe it was me throwing down the rod or maybe it was him biting, but someone got away with my drag and drop, baby. Cannot afford to lose what is catching fish after almost what feels like 12 hours of fishing. Literally, we I like woke up at 5.15 in the morning uh, to get our footage done today. We're going for two videos. It is three in the afternoon. I mean, we are pulling a double shift today, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this watermelon red flake rigged up and try and go for numero dos. We want number two. We want the big fish, boys. We want a five plus, and I think this pipe might be where we get it. Let's go. This one's getting hung up. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my God. Yo, dude, it's like a giant. Do not lie. That's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> Let's go, though. Dude, yo. That's like a three pounder. That's that's tank right there. About yes. the same as yours. Oh, that's on that Tungsten heavy metal football jig, baby. Golly, yeah, check that this. out at Shop Carl's. That's a three pounder. That's a three pounder, bro. She smoked it. Bill just got his first fish. We are psyched. Yes. 
he's doing his talking bit, so I'm trying not to get in the way. But I think this is a good fish. Quarter pound away. Ah, oh, his second biggest bass in Texas so far, guys. I know, dude. I did too. I saw the weight. Oh yes. Look, my dragon drop's been out there this whole time. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, please. I'll take it. Oh. <laughs> Look. Because <laughs> I felt a doink and then there was no weight. And so I'm thinking this has got to not be the same. <laughs> oh, yes. We have found them. He found his way. That is what exactly what I was expecting to get on the drop shot. Not that almost three pounder. We, we reckon he was minimum two and a half, maximum three. And then, oh wow, you just got a hit. Just got a hit. Oh my gosh. So mine was probably two and three quarters. Then Bill raked up that three and a quarter. Uh, or Well, closing in on three and a quarter, at least if it wasn't. So I better get this rig back in the water. I'm just still excited. Still excited. Jeez. Louise, I just got the biggest patch of grass. I just set the hook and it and it just stayed. I thought it was a bite, it was just grass, and then it ripped through. That'll be good for the comments section. <laughs> Guys, we caught a few out of this one. We're gonna go ahead and make a move to another pond in the vicinity and see if we can't get some catches over there. Uh, John and I actually did pretty well at that spot the last time we were here towards sunset and I don't want to jinx anything but I just did because I already said it so it's too late for that. Yeah it's all rocky. Jig and T-Rig heaven I think. Just switched over to the crack and crawl ladies and gents. Quarter ounce Wu Tungsten weight. Four aught if not five aught I forget. Uh, catch co worm hook. Rocking the 17 pound fluorocarbon and not enough of it as you can see. We're getting short-handed over here. SLX DC reel, and this is the Powell Endurance Rod 776 seven, mag medium heavy, so I guess that's like an extra medium heavy, fast action. It's rated for a heavy lure. We should be good. Exactly, it's like, I guess it's like extra. It's, it's so, it's weird. Oh, yep. Come on, kid. Yo! First cast crack, it's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big one. Get him up here. <laughs> Whoa, that's a football. Dude, this thing is a three all day. First cast of the crack That's first cast crack and crawl. No way. That's crazy. Hey, I appreciate you. Yeah. A hell of a thing. I know. <laughs> you walk out here and throw your fucking line. Yeah. It didn't pull take too long. It, did, it didn't take too long, man. Damn. We're excited. I told you pull up, set the hook, and I'm like. Hold up! <laughs> like, a, like a real one, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm assuming it's catch and release. Catch yeah, and release, we're, we're just having go. fun making some videos, but uh, yeah. hoping for something even bigger. Guys, no way. We've been casting here for a solid, tw you know what? We've been casting at this pond probably for 20 minutes now. All kinds of rigs, I just switched to a Texas rig. I said, screw it, I'm gonna go with what I did last time. The Crack and Crawl Blue Baby, they are eating it up. This, oh my gosh, it's a small fat fish. Like this is, it looks like a small mouth over here. The, the mouth on this thing, is that of a pound and a half, I would say, to two pounds. But this thing is plump. We're gonna put it on the scale right now and show you exactly what we're talking about. I think this thing might tip the scales <coughs> at closing in on four pounds. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, high quality audio background. I haven't used the scale before. I think we're good. Is it already going? It should be good. Yeah. That makes wow. sense. She's, she's honestly like a 16 inch fish. It's so three and funny. Three and a half pounder, three and a half pounder. Almost three and a half. The scale's on hundreds and it says 341. So we're about three and a half pounds on this guy. Dude. Yeah, let's, let's see if we can't crank some more because we know they're hungry now and this is the location baby. Crack and crawl. Awesome. He is ice That's cold. That's a fat fish. Literally man. a brick. Oh yeah, he gone. Appreciate you dude. Holy cow. <laughs> Big one. Wow. First cast crack and crawl. Alright y'all, we got back here to the corner pocket but I really want to go hit the wall over there. Had some good luck off that the last time and we can really walk this whole thing down on the back side of this pond. Uh, the place probably never gets fished, but that side surely never gets fished. So we're going to see what happens, you guys. Bill and I are about to grab the gear and walk across this little uh, sidewalk, we'll call it. Mm. 
No hits just yet, might walk it down a little bit. This bank looks pretty good. Got him, got him on the swim bait. There we go. Woo! Got one on the swim bait, baby. This is cool, I'm hoping that the GoPro got the footage on this little guy. He's been chomped. Dude, something has tried to eat this. When you were a youngster, a big bass tried to eat you. This is crazy. Anyways guys, first catch on the Jackal Gantrell Jr. You guys can pick this up on Shop Carl's, you already know the deal. You can get this thing for cheap over there. And I'm telling you what, you can catch some fun fish with this swim bait. The hits are always exciting. But generally, when you are slow creeping this thing, even in the months of January and it is cold outside, those big fish just smack it and it's a heavy hit. So, ton of fun on the Jackal Gantrell Jr. swim bait. This is the 1.5 ounce. There's also the 2.5. I, I get so many hits on this, big and small, that it's a lot of fun throwing the 1.5 in my opinion. And I think this is the ghost gill. You can almost see through it. It's a really cool colorway and it gets the catches. So, we're gonna get this guy back in the water. Off he goes. Well, despite what you've seen, the fishing is a little slower than you probably imagine. It is now about 5 p.m. We got another half an hour before the sun's supposed to set. We could probably fish till 6 if we really tried. And uh, we just might, but for the last hour or so, we've been just kind of walking this bank. All this rock right here has been fairly stacked, and I'm in it. There we go. Free that up. Uh, so what had happened? Well, what had happened was Bill got a ooh wow, that's a rock. What had happened was Bill got a hit on the chatterbait as he was walking the bank. So I started to follow up, but I was using I think the cracking craw for a while. Then I decided after he got that hit, throw something moving, and I was gonna switch to a uh, a square bill and bounce off these rocks. But I just had that jackal gantrell tied on, so I figured why not just toss that thing out there, creep it nice and slow, work that swim bait just with the reel really. Uh, what I like to do with that swim bait is just a, a consistent slow reel, then every few turns give it a nice little like half whip. And that really gets that bluegill darting. And then you kind of pause it for a second. Then you start retrieving it nice and slow. That's how I catch a lot of those fish on the jackal gantrell. On the drop shot, I'm just really trying to pop it with the rod like this and really only reel in the slack as it really starts to get loose. Otherwise, I, I, I'm, you're just kind of popping that drag and drop and the idea of that is really finesse it down, work it slow, and so you just want to kind of pop it nice and steady like this right here. Just really working that worm and almost leaving it in the same spot and let the fish come to you when you choose that drop shot, maybe once you've keyed in on where they're at. Um, and then the Texas rig like this right here, I'm just trying to work the crawl through these rocks as well since it seems to be where they're hitting. And so that is really the juice. We are just waiting on these bites. Again, they're few and far between, but we got a little bit more time before sunset. So we are gonna try and get some old fish, baby. Speaking of baby, blue baby color. It's got that shimmer and shine, just like that natural, but the underbelly is just a little bit more subtle. Speak of the devil, I just got done talking with you guys on the GoPro, giving you that update. <laughs> Bill texted me, he got kicked out. He was in the corner of the pond up here. So I imagine the homeowner or security or whoever it was, is gonna have a little word with me as well, but we shall see. It might be clean and clear after he dealt with Bill. So I am on my way back to the uh, first ponds or we might even skedaddle and hit another pond before sunset. Who's to say, man, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here too before we get into some trouble. Nothing crazy on the chatterbait? I don't think that this pond has any bass in it. Dude, I don't know, I mean it has. <laughs> John caught one or two, I Did think, he? but and we saw quite a few on the bank, but you want to throw the Texas rig or the um, drop shot for a minute? To try and hop the fence to that one you said looked really extra private. Oh, I don't care. I'm just saying if you want to try and fish something different for a minute and get a little different perspective, uh, I'm letting you call it because we'll either hustle to the car right now and do it or we will not do it. I don't know if it's worth it. D you said it looked juicy. Yeah, like juicy. All right, let's go. <laughs> 
I don't, yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling it anymore. After yeah. you got kicked out. <laughs> it's rare you see a vlogger get kicked out twice in one day is all we're saying. But it's true, yeah. Y'all, we are making a last ditch effort. The sun is setting, sun if we're being set. real. <laughs> the sun is set, I guess. We got a little bit more daylight. The Subaru is right here. We're gonna try and gun it to this extra private gated community right next door. It looks, Bill was saying it looked extra juicy. And to be quite frank, it's, gated more than this place and this place really isn't gated you can just walk right in hop skip and jump right over here to the next door neighbor's house and catch a big one out of a spot that probably gets hit even less than these ones right here and uh close this thing out for you guys so we'll catch you there at the pond we're probably gonna travel light skip the backpack maybe even skip you guys on the big camera hate to say it hate to say it but it might just happen let's load the whip up and get over there Yo, we just rocked up. This place looks amazing. There's actually a way to get in here without kind of like trespassing through fences. Wow, we gotta hit this now. <laughs> no, I think so, dude. It was tugging multiple times. I looked on fish brain, there's catches in here. Like right from where you're standing. I think it was like a jerk bait the kid used or something. There's only a few logged catches. There's gotta be something decent sized right here. Especially if that flows in to the main body. Yeah. There's like a there's like a tracker that looks like it's set up like a bass boat in there. Oh yeah, like this one was a bust. We figured that out in about 10 minutes. Luckily, that's all we had to fish and we wouldn't get bummed out if we did catch something halfway decent and want to actually stick it out for a while. So I'm going to holler at you guys when we get back to uh, Casa Le Jean B. Y'all, we are back at John's crib. Just dropping Bill off. He rode with us uh, for the evening shift. We had made two videos today. Uh, we fished out on the lake in the boat with him and had no luck. And then now we are back to the ponds. You guys love and why do you love them? Because we catch fish. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely go check out Bill's page and channel I'm gonna put them in the description and uh, you know we'll have fun with y'all on a future episode I hope you enjoy watching with the subscribe button hit and the notifications bell turned on until then y'all peace out <gasps>